On August 8th, Blackpink and their devoted Blinks gathered to celebrate a significant milestone, the group's eighth anniversary, at the Our Area offline fan sign event. The occasion was filled with profound emotions, as both Blackpink and their fans relished the opportunity to connect in person after a long hiatus. For the fans, this event was more than just a chance to meet the four members of Blackpink in real life, it was a moment of heartfelt reunion. The atmosphere was electric as everyone united to commemorate the group's incredible journey. Songs were sung together Together, with Blackpink and Blinks merging into one, sharing laughter, excitement, and even tears. Jisoo, known for being the least likely to cry, struggled to hold back her emotions when fans began to share their heartfelt messages. She later shared this touching experience on Bubble, expressing how deeply moved she was by the outpouring of love from Blinks. During the fan sign, Jisoo also provided updates on her upcoming dramas, teasing three key points to look out for in Newtopia. Additionally, she revealed that her role as Lee Ji Hai in the upcoming movie Omni Omniscient Reader's viewpoint will differ slightly from the original webtoon. When asked about her involvement in the OST, Jisoo remained uncertain but hinted that she was hard at work on other music projects, including her solo, which she confirmed is in progress this year. Rosé, on the other hand, excitedly shared that she had completed recording her highly anticipated solo album, RS2. When fans suggested creating documentary-style content for her music, Rosé agreed it was a great idea and might consider it for future projects or during revision recordings. She also revealed that the album would be a full-length release, featuring songs that blend the styles of Gone and Hard to Love, with Vampire Holly confirmed to be included. Though Rosé hinted at a release later this year, she kept fans on edge by teasing solo activities like concerts and fan meetings. Additionally, she debunked rumors about Rosebuds being her fandom name and announced plans to establish her own label soon. Before leaving the event, Rosé once again urged fans to anticipate her upcoming full-length solo album, leaving everyone eagerly awaiting its release. Also during this emotional offline fan sign event, Jenny delighted fans with exciting news about her much-anticipated solo album, JN1. Jenny confirmed that she is close to completing her full-length album, which is set to be released soon. She assured fans that JN1 will exceed their expectations, promising that it will be everything we wanted. While Jenny remained tight-lipped about the album's diverse range of genres, she she did hint that promotional activities for JN1 would begin in the near future. When asked about Blackpink's potential comeback in 2025, Jenny left fans with a sense of hope, stating that the group would give it a try. Meanwhile, Lisa shared with fans that she was very surprised when Rockstar received four VMA nominations, and she's unsure if she will attend the award show. Blackpink's youngest member also revealed that her upcoming song, New Woman, will have a fairly feminine choreography and will be easier to learn than Rockstar. When asked about her LS2 album, Lisa stated that it'll be tough to release her solo album before the Global Citizen Festival on September 28th, 2024. However, she is working very hard on her album and wishes for fans to look forward to New Woman with Rosalia. Last but not least, Lisa sparked hope among fans about a potential collaboration between her and Jenny. The youngest member also joined in on a fan's joke by tearing up a divorce certificate between her and Jenny, causing the hearts of Jen Lisa fans to flutter. In a previous fan sign event, both Jenny and Lisa had signed a marriage certificate together. This recent action by Lisa once again reaffirms the unbreakable bond between her and Jenny, showing that their relationship is forever.